any good party is made up of lots of different ingredients. The Barbie, the CD player, food, drink, you name it. And everything here, in fact, everything and anything in the world that you can think of, not only solids and liquids, things that you can see and touch, but also gases, like the air that we breathe, everything is made up of matter. This unit looks at how matter is made of atoms, how atoms join to form molecules, and how elements combine to form compounds. Everything in our world, all matter, is made of tiny particles called atoms. This can contains rows of aluminium atoms. Atoms are extremely small, far too small to see with the naked eye. Aluminium is an element. An element is a simple, single material which cannot be broken up into a simpler material. The atoms in an element are all exactly the same. Each element has its unique chemical symbol, made up of one or two letters. No two elements have the same name or symbol. If there are two letters in the symbol, the first is a capital letter, while the second is a lowercase letter. AL is the chemical symbol for aluminium. There are more aluminium atoms in this ring pool than there are grains of sand on all the beaches in the UK. The charcoal in this barbecue is made of carbon atoms. Carbon is also an element and its chemical symbol is C. Alex's earring is made of gold. Gold is yet another element. Its chemical symbol is AU, not G, as you might expect. AU are the first two letters of the Latin word for gold, aurum. There are over a hundred different elements on planet Earth. Sometimes, atoms can join together to form molecules. Many common gases, such as the oxygen and nitrogen in the air, are examples of atoms that exist as a molecule made up of more than one atom of the same element. Every element and molecule has a chemical formula which shows how many atoms it has. Chlorine is used to make bleach, found in many disinfectants. Chlorine is another example of a molecule made up of two atoms. Most of us are familiar with the distinctive smell of chlorine from the disinfectants in swimming pools. Sometimes, Two or more different elements combine to make a compound. This occurs in a chemical reaction, when elements are chemically joined together and not just mixed together. Table salt is a compound called sodium chloride and is made from the two elements sodium and chlorine. Just mixing sodium and chlorine together wouldn't change their properties and they could be separated. But sodium chloride is a compound. It's been chemically combined and it's very difficult to reverse the process and separate it back into sodium and chlorine. A compound is a brand new material with its own properties. It does not behave in the same way as the elements it's made from. So the salt on these crisps is neither poisonous, like chlorine gas, nor shiny the metallic like sodium. Water is a compound and it's made of two elements hydrogen and oxygen. 
the two atoms in a molecule of hydrogen combine with one of the two atoms in a molecule of oxygen to form a molecule of water. The other oxygen atom combines with another molecule of hydrogen. So, water has the chemical formula H2O. Every compound also has its own name and chemical formula. Some compounds have large molecules with many atoms in them. The chemical formula tells us which atoms are in the compound and how many are present. Each vinegar molecule contains two carbon atoms, four hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. Amazingly, some compounds contain hundreds or even thousands of atoms chemically joined together. They form huge molecules. Plastic, like this inflatable chair that Liana's blowing up, is a good example of this type of compound. The air that's blown into the chair is a mixture of atoms of different gases. The air is mainly oxygen and nitrogen, but also has other gases, including carbon dioxide, water vapour, neon and argon. These are their chemical symbols. All these different gases can be classified as atoms or molecules. Argon and neon on the left exist as single atoms, whilst the other gases are molecules of more than one atom. But these atoms and molecules, as we've seen, can also be classified as elements and compounds. Even though nitrogen and oxygen, now on the left, are molecules made up of two atoms, they are two atoms of the same type, and therefore, like argon and neon, they're elements. Whereas the water vapour and carbon dioxide molecules on the right are made up of two different types of atoms, chemically joined together, and they are compounds. Thank you.